cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it and welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make the absolute best Cajun seafood chowder yes ma'am and guess what it's non-traditional but that's okay because it's delicious now let's go ahead and get started all right y'all so look we're gonna start off here with two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat I have my heavy bottom Dutch oven y'all it is soup season so y'all y'all already know how this goes so look, I'm gonna add in one diced carrot to this. You wanna make sure you chop that up nice and fine because guess what? Unless you like to bite into big, you know, chunky carrots, then you need to you need to dice them a little bit small, all right? And two, they take a long time to cook if you make them bigger. So dice them up nice and fine. And I'm also gonna add in one small white onion. Chop that up also really fine if you can. And one diced rib of celery or celery rib. It depends on how you wanna say it. All right, so we want to cook these veggies down until they are slightly translucent. That may take up to two minutes. Um, I like mine to have a little bite to them. If you don't prefer that, then, you know, you can cook them down a little bit longer. But once you do that, you want to add in one and a half cups of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use water, but, you know, I prefer chicken broth, so go ahead and do that. And add in two to three tablespoons of clam juice. Honey, if that freaks you out, don't, don't add in the clam. It's okay. But you do want to make sure you get your fresh herbs in. So I'm adding in one fourth teaspoon of some thyme. This is fresh thyme. You can use dried if you have it. And to that, we're going to add in two cups of half and half. Okay. And feel free to substitute this for milk if you would like to. But, you know, half and half is going to give you the best results for a chowder. And that's just that. Okay, so look, we're going to add in a half pound of baby Dutch yellow potatoes. You can actually use any type of potato that you prefer. I'm using the baby Dutch because they're nice and waxy and beautiful and they hold their shape and I love that. All right. And you want to give this a mix, just a quick little mix to make sure everything's incorporated. And we are going to season them potatoes with some salt, y'all. One to two teaspoons because they have no flavor. And we have not put any seasoning in this uh in this soup yet. All right. So we're going to cook those potatoes for about 8 to 10 minutes over medium low heat. And then once we get that going, we are going to add in our slurry, which is cornstarch and water. Equal parts, um, one tablespoon each. And adding in slurry is definitely going to thicken this chowder. Because, you know, chowders are not too thick, but they also are not too runny. So you want to make sure you get a nice thickness. Okay. So once you get that in, we're going to add in a half a pound of small cooked shrimp. This shrimp is cooked, it's peeled, it's deveined, and the tails are off. And I'm also adding in one cup of seasoned crawfish tails. I don't know if you ever seen crawfish tails in a chowder, but honey, you do it, you're gonna see it today. All right. I'm adding in these crawfish that I purchased from Walmart at $11.99. This is not a promotional video, but I know y'all are gonna ask where I got them from. They come in the freezer section, y'all. Very easy to find, but they are expensive. So if you don't want to add them, you can leave them out. And so, also, because this is a seafood chowder, I'm adding in white crab meat. If you want to get super fancy, honey, go get you some lump crab meat and add that bad boy in there. But I want to try to make this as cost efficient as possible. So, I'm adding in one can of crab meat. It was like $3, you guys. Very simple. Okay? And since this is Cajun, we can't go nowhere without our Old Bay seasoning. So, look, add you in a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning or two teaspoons. It's up to you. And, honey, guess what? Guess what? If you don't have Obey, you can use Cajun seasoning. It's okay. All right. So here I'm adding in some cayenne pepper. That's because I like a little spice. And I'm also going to add in black pepper to taste and one teaspoon of onion powder. And once you get all of those seasonings in there, honey, you just want to let this simmer. You want to let it simmer until it gets thickened up a little bit. And it looks like this. Y'all, it's so creamy. Look at that. Now, if you wanted to actually take some of this out and uh, mix it up a little bit to give it some thickness, that's totally cool. But, honey, I'm not going to do that because this is perfect just like it is. All right. So let's go ahead and play it up.
and there you have it guys it's our delicious <laughs> Woo! seafood chowder y'all cajun seafood chowder and y'all already know what's good y'all my husband gave it a 10 out of 10 he does not even eat soup do y'all hear me that's an accomplishment all right so listen i want to thank you guys for watching as always thank you for supporting my channel and if you try this recipe let me know down in the comments how it went and i'll see y'all next time in the next video bye Thank you.